<laughs> hey. Hey. Woo. I know you're exhausted, and I know I'm exhausted, but it's episode 63, <laughs> and we're almost done with Cold Spring Harbor. We have not told people. It's, we don't take breaks between episodes. No, it's we, we don't stop. Also, we do push-ups in between. <laughs> Why did we decide to do that? Uh, it was an early decision, and I will admit I regret it. And yeah. I, it was my dumb idea. And I remember you fought me on it a little bit. I did three days ago when we started this project. Yeah. <laughs> but but as you can see, I'm, I'm cut now. Yeah. I'm in yeah. great shape now. I, I tore something, but yeah. I'm, I'm forging ahead. Yeah. I should have drank some water. My cat died. Started. Yeah. yeah but you did your push-ups. Yeah. Yeah. It's episode 63. 63. Of Alex and Jim analyze Billy Joel lyrics after a good conversation. <laughs> Off air. <laughs> so, yeah, well, you both, see. usually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On and off the air. Yeah. Look, whatever we're talking, it's good. And I think... Uh, there's been a lot in the news. There's been a ton in the news. And I think the thing people have been talking about the most, I mean, you you work for Seth Meyers, so obviously this yeah. comes up a lot, is that we're finishing Cold Spring Harbor. No one will shut up about it. <laughs> it's always in it's the first page of setups every day. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't have a fresh take. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tucker Carlson typically made allusions to the fact that we weren't going to finish it which is not fair but i mean he's yeah. not a journalist i'm i thought about suing he keeps pushing uh elton john yeah why don't they do elton john oh. yeah just being a contrarian yeah i'm like well why don't you do elton john and then yeah, also you yeah you could do a show that's the thing i would say you should have a show <laughs> yeah, yeah that's right he should have a show uh, what it, what harm could come from him having a show? Yeah, nothing I could think of. Get a, a whole extra country out of it on the other side of the war. <laughs> oh, oh, Tucker Carlson, you scamp! Uh, scamp is a word. I uh, watched. Uh, I watched your show, by the way. Um, I watched one of the first um, hey, closer look. Huh? You have a Nielsen box? Yeah. No. Unfortunately. Yeah. Well, oh, oh, thanks anyway. Yeah. I have a lot of other boxes, but they're none of them are Nielsen uh, <laughs> well, moving style mostly. Oh yeah. Does yeah. that help you guys? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't hurt. I guess. <laughs> are you moving to a red state? <laughs> I, uh, I watched. Uh, I think it was your first um, closer look after the vacation. Ah, so yesterday's. Yeah, and it was yeah. pretty funny because it was. Um, just talking about just all the shit that went down when you decided to take a vacation. Like a month off and everything happened. That's so funny because like you, most of the time you're trying to write jokes about the same more or less thing. Yeah. With subtle variations. Yes. You're and like... Full reset. Yeah. In the news. What did Madison Cawthorn say or whatever? But no... A groundbreaking break in. Yep. Warrant. <laughs> Pretty great. <laughs> yep. Nuclear secrets <laughs> in the basement of a hotel. <laughs> oh, that was so fantastic. Uh, I mentioned this offline. I'm, I've, this is how bored I've been. I've just been starting classic arguments online. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Do you remember you're old enough to remember do you remember when the internet first showed up and there were message boards or whatever oh, buddy and, do i ever and you could go argue with people there and it seemed pretty fun and cool <laughs> yeah yeah i did that for months and months arguing politics um with nobody i knew for sure yeah random uh angry people yeah just insulting each other and i thought it was fun and then somebody was like hey you're mad all the time did you know that 
And I was like, oh, I guess I am mad all the time. I'll just stop doing that. Oh, was this a, in real life? Somebody said you're mad all the time. Yeah, because, you know, you think you're um, arguing online and having fun. And then you get offline and you're like, all right, back to my life. But when you go back to your life, <laughs> you're mad. Yeah. Oh, that's it. It lingers. Oh, yeah. That's a well, shoot. That was a lesson I could have learned a long time ago. Do you have ever this happens to me all the time? I'll have a, a dream and I won't remember the dream, but I'll wake up and I'll be like nervous for the first two hours of the day. I'm like, oh, man, there's that thing I got to do. And I can't remember what the thing was that I was supposed to do. And I'm like, oh, right. That was the dream. I, where I was supposed to return a mallet to a dragon or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, you know, oh, I was nervous about a, a fake errand that doesn't make sense. That's Yeah, I've definitely done that. And I've definitely done, gotten anxiety about either a dream or an online made up argument and had anxiety about it. Yeah, I'm like, oh, that someone's mad at me. And it's like, oh, right, it's a... Uh, is a shadow demon. That's who's mad at me. Uh, I'll tell you a funny argument I had online because I didn't expect it to be an argument is there was just people were commenting about the Into the Woods because <laughs> Chris Pine is in the news right now for a pretend problem. Uh -huh. And uh, somebody said, you know, and Agony, how could you not like Chris Pine? Agony is the only good song in Into the Woods. And I said, oh, I, I don't know about that. I think all the songs are pretty good. They're all Sondheim. And she goes, oh, thank you for explaining how I should feel. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, pretty sure it's just, and so I just made fun of her for a while. And eventually she did this really weird thing where I think she realized, oh, I overreacted. And she was suddenly nice to me. Okay. And then I did this weird thing where I accepted it's possible to misunderstand me and I was nice to her. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what a clever trick. So then we both ended by talking about how much we both like Bernadette Peters. Common ground. That's what everybody should be talking about is Bernadette Peters. Bernadette Peters and Alan Alda. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh man, that would have been the power couple if they'd have hooked up. Oh, man. Who was in Sweet Liberty with Alan Alda? Was it was, Amy Irving? Probably Amy Irving. Sweet Liberty, that's right. But it wasn't Bernadette Peters. No, it should have been. Yeah. Oh, my God. So much would be right if we could talk about them. Because had they gotten together, it would have lasted. It would have been fine. Oh, yeah. And they'd both be doing good things for the world right now. Together. Yeah, instead of and... And if you saw Alan Alda in person, you'd think it's nice to see Alan Alda, but this also means I probably get to see Bernadette Peters. Right, and he'd be fine with that. Yep, and vice versa. If she comes in the room first, you're like, oh, you know who's going to come in next? Alan Alda. <laughs> They're inseparable. That's right. I would have also been okay with if Bernadette Peters had married Gary Berghoff. <laughs> <laughs> That's just also a good sight gag. <laughs> <laughs> she walks in he kind of slinks in way lower <laughs> he he's always carrying an apple box <laughs> he'd probably be a lot less bitter i think he's a bitter guy from what i've heard i've heard that as well i That's don't good. yeah there's a there's the weird level of fame that certain people achieve where it's you're pretty famous and you can just about taste being a little more famous <laughs> I was wondering about that today is uh, somebody in the Q and A asked Seth, like, what's it like being famous or what's the worst part of being famous or something. And I don't remember what he said, but in my head, I was thinking like, it must be hard to tell when it's you, how famous you are. Oh. When it's a different person, you know exactly how famous they are. But when it's you, it must be like, what level is this? <laughs> recognized a lot in this place and but not at all in this other place people get my name wrong does that happen that must happen to like chris hemsworth oh sure he's very famous so does that mean you know it must be hard to gauge that by the way has to be at least part of the reason why the lesser baldwin brothers 
are all such relentless pricks. I mean, granted, those guys were pricks anyway. Yeah, I was going to say the greater Baldwin brother also kind of a prick. Yeah, but the specific <laughs> way the lesser ones are, you know, yeah. is, yeah. I mean, there is no uncomplicated Baldwin, that's for sure. No. That would be funny if there was. If you just met a Baldwin <laughs> brother you hadn't heard about, and you're like, why haven't I heard about him? Oh, he's kind of just very genuine. Yeah, he's just a kindergarten teacher. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> is he mean to the kid? No, no, it's not comical. He's a good teacher. He's a good teacher. He's a good guy. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes some of the kids can't afford lunches and he will take care of them. And doesn't put weird product in his hair. <laughs> yeah, it's just her hair. the most jarring thing about him is the normal head of hair. <laughs> uh, Alex and Jim analyze. Alex and Jim actively avoid analyzing, analyzing the Joel lyrics. Yeah, that's right. And Alex and Jim eventually start a show about Baldwin Brothers. You that know. could be a lot of episodes, too. Yeah. Boy, talk about actively avoiding. We'd never get to it. <laughs> like, well, I don't think they've talked about one Baldwin brother, and it's episode 100. We started this podcast to avoid it. <laughs> But all right, you're right. We do analyze Billy Joel lyrics. And uh, if you, this is what I'll say, my first impression of Turnaround, other than that there are much better songs called Turnaround, <laughs> is um, the very first time he sings, it almost sounds like uh, not Weird Al, but another, like a comedian making fun of this kind of singer by the way he says sweet lady yeah like if it was adam sandler or more jimmy fallon where jimmy fallon would just over the top go oh sweet lady and you'd laugh because you'd go yeah you're right that's a ridiculous way to sing yep and or, that's yeah i it makes me think of guns and roses for some reason <laughs> <laughs> the same reason but in a different way you're absolutely right the the phoniness of it because guns and roses had some fine albums but you would never say to yourself man they meant something and by i mean by meant something i mean intended they had no intention of anything they just yeah. fucking recorded shit yeah they were just he was, they had a really good guitarist and our ooh, we should we should use this yeah and let's fucking have the words real fast let's take this song that should be four minutes and make it 17 minutes that fucking opening, oh shit, that fucking, <laughs> I could do a podcast about how mad it makes me that they thought that was a good idea. <laughs> oh. But here we go, Billy Joel, and this is, man, this is the 1970s in a nutshell, right out the gate. Oh, sweet lady. Oh. Running like a stream. Which uh, I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> You don't look back because you know your hands are clean. Uh, that makes stream a little better, I guess. Running like a stream, I guess the idea is you're just, you know, you're you're yeah. letting, you know, but you're not facing your past. You are actively avoiding it. Uh, you make believe that the past was just a dream. You make believe that the past was just a dream. Um, I, I don't love this song. I'll say that off the bat. I get that vibe. Yeah, I don't hate it. It's not, it's just really banal. Is that what no. it is? It's banal. It's the same thing. It's kind of pretty. Musical. Yeah. I, if he didn't sing like a tool and the words were different. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly fine song. Yeah. But yeah, that running like a stream. When you say a lady is running like a stream, I just think of uh, a lady at the gym who's just soaked in sweat. Yeah. Just like running like a stream. <laughs> and running like a stream, as far as a metaphor, has always bothered me anyway, because the stream itself is stationary. It's just the way my brain works, just the way I think about things. Wow. Like the stream is always where the stream is. Right. The water's running. Yeah, you will always be able to find it. You don't have to catch up with the stream. 
Also, the other thing is the stream doesn't run straight. Yeah. <laughs> it runs if you ran, if you physically ran like a stream, you would be uh, ducking and dodging left and right. And sometimes you just stop. <laughs> you get real thin and then you get real wide. Yeah. So I've ne never been a fan. And this is definitely, I was looking at the lyrics and initially had, uh, was reminded of what you said last week about being a poetry class. I'm like, yeah, this is that again. This is definitely yeah. um, trying to write. He got so much better and which is good, of course. Yes but really trying to make the song a poem rather than the, make the song a song. And if it has, you know, poetic aspects to it, that's cool, but it's gotta be a song first. Yeah. Like what I always say about comedy, I always say this about comedy when you'll see that pretentious young comedians will go, you know, we like to hold up a mirror and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, no, you don't. But, but if you do, it's funny first. Yes. And if and you if don't do is, if it's well written, sorry to interrupt you. It's okay. You can see all the results and none of the effort. And I Absolutely. feel like in, in this song you see the effort. And very little results, you're right. Absolutely. I shouldn't see you trying. Yeah. Like a good comedian should look like they just thought of that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know not perform just thinking of it but just uh, the, yeah effortlessness the effort is at home yeah before the, the, to the club yeah absolutely and and like billy joel the good comedians the ones who become good do this first and that's fine yeah you know you and do, you do, stop do. doing that stuff and <laughs> cut that stuff later it's funny this is the billy joelism i always did in comedy which is my first five or six years, maybe longer, of be doing comedy was like, uh, oh, he thinks he's Jake Johansson now. Sweet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did a lot of that. Like, I like this comedian, so now I kind of sound like this comedian. And it's not intentional. I don't steal the material, but definitely the flavor is this person that I liked. Which I think is a good and necessary step, but it's, it's cringeworthy. Yeah. You have to get... You you aren't born with an original voice. You go shopping. Yeah, absolutely. And, and he, he, I remember when Alex did stand up one time we were at the, um, oh, so uh, bad. yeah, no, you're actually almost always very funny. It's just not your calling. Uh, you're always great, but that's just not what you want to do. Um, but I just remember all of our friends did stand up, including people who shouldn't. Yeah. And a friend of ours who I won't say his name, got up and crushed and we were like oh he's so funny how great is he and it because none of us had seen andrew dice clay at that point <laughs> right. i think you know who i'm talking about yeah i gotcha <laughs> yeah oh great what a great idea for an act oh this is gonna go far well we were right <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh that's so funny that that's what he decided to do <laughs> funny and unsurprising yeah yeah out but also good dude very good dude. yeah god bless <laughs> all right do you want to um do you want to there's not a lot to the song by the way oh yeah there's just the there's a little chorus do you want me to do the chorus and then you do the next um verse and yeah, chorus right okay so he says turn around turn around bright eyes no he doesn't say that he says turn around turn around and i will sing for you a song no i don't know where you've been but you've been going too long oh a little troubadour you should have the little thing the little <laughs> the, the, <laughs> loot yeah you should have a loot yeah uh yeah this song's just bad here turn around turn around and i will sing for you a song now let's nope. pretend for a minute this is literally a thing. You said to a lady, hey, turn around, I'll sing a song for you. For no, sure. No, I'll sing for you a song. Yeah, for you a song. She for sure goes, uh, nah, it's good. Nope, yeah, that's, and also that sentence structure is very Renaissance fair. It really is. I will sing for you a song and give you a giant turkey leg. I'll do those two <laughs> things yep. for you. 
and you will leave outside the your the door of your car when you leave. Yeah. You know what? Turkey leg, yes. Song, no. But I will take that turkey leg. <laughs> Get it early in the day, folks. That's the oh. secret to the residence fair. Get it before trichinosis. Yeah, they didn't have refrigerators in medieval times. Nope. I think at medieval times they do. I'm not even sure they do. Oh. I think at medieval cool. times, sometimes they just have dry ice. <laughs> have you been to medieval times? I have not been. I'll tell you something that I was at, which was exactly like medieval times. I went to my, well, my niece's wedding and her beau, the person she was getting married to, was really into cosplay and they it was a medieval times themed wedding and as i'm going through the day i go oh no they're gonna get divorced pretty quick because i could tell this wasn't one of her interests oh no and it became clearer and clearer as time went on ah nobody expected her to be pregnant this early she's gonna try oh boy and oh. yeah, they got divorced in, you know. Wow. And I'm sure the divorce was had a wax seal on it when they handed it to him. <laughs> it was delivered by an owl. <laughs> oh no. Can't believe he owled me. Yeah, oh, I've been to a few, you know, I've been to Comic-Con a few times, but Renaissance fairs, the closest was that wedding and that was close enough. Um, I never went to one, but I had some friends who would go to a lot of them and you know who likes renaissance fairs weirdly uh strippers a lot of strippers like to go to renaissance fairs huh i don't know if they are just like costumes sometimes the man they very, very well could everybody in maybe they just like when things were simpler yeah it very it might be the costumes you know I've been good friends with a lot of ladies who liked cosplay and I've known ladies who liked it on various levels. Like yeah. I've known the ladies who definitely are pleased to show off their goods. Sure. And that's fantastic. And then I've also known other ladies, not strippers, <laughs> who just like the stuff. Yeah. And, and, the, and those are the true nerd girls who are just, you know, a true nerd. They really love the subculture of this fandom. And for them, the boys who are hoping that they're those other kind of girls are a fucking nightmare. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. 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 yeah I suspect the, the boys who go to those things are <laughs> there's a, a substrata that's not great. Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. Um, there's a yeah, fandom in general is fraught. Well said. Yeah. But and, but I will say at Comic-Con, when you meet the people who are cool, they're like some of the coolest. Right. Because I... It only extremes. Yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> I was there to do stand-up in, in this um, show where you do stand-up as a comic book character. So I was the Silver Surfer. <laughs> doing stand-up. Doing stand-up. And I had made right. my own Silver Surfer costume. And I picked it partly because I knew no one else probably has ever done that. And I had the simplest costume. It was just basically a bodysuit and a surfboard and whatever. And this dude uh, came up to me and was like, ah, that is fucking great. That is great. And we talked for a while and he goes, and then he goes, he goes, I mean, you look kind of stupid, but that is great. <laughs> and I was like, I like, love this guy. Cause he got, he gets what it's for. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and how do you, how do I know that guy's great? Cause afterwards he just went away. Oh, the best. Not Remember really. losing touch with people. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> that ruled so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. All right. Yeah. I think you're up. Oh, Eliza. Oh, Eliza. <laughs> he learned her name since the first, uh, verse. Mm. Oh, yeah, Eliza. that's true. You must begin again. And all the roads that you have walked are coming to an end. I was your lover, but I thought I was your friend. I loved you, but I thought I was your friend. 
What's happening? That's such so weird because the other sentiment makes sense. I was oh. your friend, but I thought we were more is a tragic thing that people feel. This is the yeah. opposite. Yeah. And I don't think this happens. <laughs> this is like she broke up with him and he thought they were going to keep talking and hanging out. Okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. The more we do this, the more I think maybe we did this song already. But well, I, don't, I don't care. Well, then we're going to do it a bunch more then. <laughs> Only do this song from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Alex and Jim analyze turnaround. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could do all the turnarounds. Episode 300. Well, this week we're looking at turnaround. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eliza. Yeah. Just the syllables fit, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Lady, Eliza. Um, it's a weird choice. Yeah. Definitely, he knew some Eliza's on Long Island. Yep. I would think. It's not very Renaissance. Maybe it is. I don't know. But uh, also, you call her Eliza. That's interesting. Because if you have a friend who's named Eliza, you probably don't call her Eliza. You call her Izzy or... E, E-Dog. Yeah. E -dog. <laughs> Liza, Liza, you call her Liza. Liza with a Z, yep. not Lisa with an S. No. Yeah, Elisa? Is it maybe Elisa? Yeah. I knew, well, I had a friend named Elise, and every person in her life called her Lisey. Yeah. It was way was better. It Elise, was she the one who played piano? No. Okay. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Then but I'm a pilot's aware. license at 17. And that's all I know about her. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I was your lover, but I thought I was your friend. Well, I guess it's possible to be someone's lover and not their friend. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't seem like you'd be this uh, distraught. Yeah. All the roads that you have walked are coming to an end. All the roads or just you, bud? <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, he might be extrapolating his own experience onto her a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Oh, you broke up with me, so you're just ending everything in your life that's good. <laughs> no, just you, dude. Yeah. Oh, just you, Bill. Yeah. Um, pouty. He's pouty. Turn around. Turn <laughs> around. And I will sing for you a song. I don't know where you've been. But you've been gone too long. So here's what a, a observation about the second chorus popping up. So if it's turned around and I will sing for you a song, it didn't work before. Yeah. You need a second idea because she doesn't care that you're going to sing a song. Also, in his head, is this the song? Yeah. Then I support her continuing to walk away. <laughs> is it a, it, if it was like, turn around and I'll, I'll do pressure. Go, oh, great. <laughs> hey, friend, by the way, you've just fixed the song because how amazing would this song be? Turn around, turn around, and I will sing for you a song. And then it pressure comes in. <laughs> yeah. And not the whole thing, but just uh, we get a little bit of it. Yeah. I don't know where you've gone, gone too long. And every time he says, turn around and I will sing you, for you a song, it's a different song. <laughs> great. That's a fix. That's a great version of this song. I will sing for you a song. In the middle of it. <laughs> nope. Yes. I, too, I don't like that one. <laughs> I like your old stuff better. <laughs> Oh shit, that would be good. Well, right like, Ballad of Billy the Kid kicks in. <laughs> We're just fucking something from the same album. <laughs> oh. It's like, don't you watch that podcast? They hate this album. Man, they hate it so much they had to make it clear by doing it all. <laughs> oh, sweet lady, stand beside the sea. Eh? 
That's maybe you will. Yeah, maybe you will find a little time to think of me. Is he tricking her? Is he going to murder her? Is that why she's about to see her? <laughs> He's going to pretend to take her picture and be like, back up a little more. Yeah. Back up, keep backing up. Oh, sweet lady, stand beside the sea on this balcony over this cliff. <laughs> maybe you will find a little time to think of me. Won't you please remember what I tried so hard to be? Oh, this is not good. Because you've got C, me, B, and then B again. Ah, That's a yeah, mistake. The, the old A, 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 A rhyme scheme. Yeah. Won't you please remember what I tried so hard to be? Yeah, remember what I tried so hard to be. It's ruined by the last line. If you're going to make each one rhyme, the last one can't be a repeat. No. That's not good. It's also it's so pathetic to ask to be remembered for your fake persona. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, that's, yes. To remember what I tried to be. No, I'm going to remember what you were. Remember and... when I tried to be a hipster by wearing a bowling shirt all the time? Remember that. Think about that. Think about that. That maybe that, that'll light your fire. Oh, well, listen, I got a chance of remembering the shirt, but not you. God. I carried a pocket watch for two weeks in college. <laughs> oh. Was, remember that guy. Oh. I made everybody call me Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. Hey, don't worry. We remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why we're walking away. Yeah, but oh, but yes, do sing your song. <laughs> oh, won't you please remember what I tried so hard to be? Oh, I best case scenario is is won't you please remember that I tried? Okay, yeah. but it's all pathetic no matter what. But at yeah. least uh, that would be self aware, I guess. Remember, I tried. Yeah. But then also, if you acknowledge that you tried, then that means you failed. And if that's the case, then you do understand why Eliza hit the bricks. Yeah. So stop, you're, stop bothering her. Yeah. So turn around. Oh, turn around. <laughs> yeah. And I will sing for you a song. I don't know where you've been, but you've been gone too long. The funny thing is, just repeating it. Repeating it actually, oddly enough, has meaning. It doesn't just feel repetitive. It uh -huh. makes it progressively more pathetic just <laughs> because you tried this. Yep. So you don't want to hear your dumb song. One voicemail is fine. 14 voicemails, you're a bad guy. Yep. I will sing for you a song. And you know what it makes me think is that he's done that before and maybe early it worked because he sang her nice little song and, but he forgot that, oh yeah, but she liked me back then. <laughs> right. And that's yeah. why that works. Yes. The thing that was cute when we were together is extra annoying. Yeah. Not. Yeah. Not, this is... It doesn't turn neutral. <laughs> it turns uh, dark. That's right. Oh, man. And then there's a little, uh, just a little bit of words. You can say them if you want. They're just more. I don't have them on mine. Too long is just repeat. Too long. I said you've been oh. gone too long. You've been gone too long. Oh, more with the too long. And then he goes, I do like that it goes, I said you've been gone too long. Yes, I heard you. Yep. There's not that many lyrics. Yeah, that that well, evokes some desperation. There's definitely yeah. I, did and, you... and we're only so critical of it because we know it so well from practicing it in our youth. Mm -hmm. And maybe, maybe in our not as youth. <laughs> maybe. Um, <sighs> yeah, it's a saddie. Yeah, it's sad, but not for the reason he wanted it to be sad. Which yeah, is worse. Yep. It's a it's a try. It's a swing and a miss on an album that's got a lot of good to offer for it. I think there's really only one song which Alex may or may not pick. We don't know.
but I believe the only song left on here is the best one, right? Yeah, gotta be. I think that's it. I think that's it. Because the only other one is um, music. Right. So what I'll do is if you happen to pick it and you don't need to, but if you do, whatever episode we pick, I'll link to a clip at the end of that one of him playing the one that's just music. Oh, nice. So then, then we can just call it good. Just to be completists. Yeah. About. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, this it was a fun little exper experiment for our show, which is that we decided to do that to get rid of this album. Yeah, and also I will eternally respect him because the guy who wrote this song and who's singing this song got older and hated this album. <laughs> and uh, like I said, he tells people that if you bought this album, he owes you ten dollars. <laughs> yep, which is generous because I definitely bought it for four ninety nine. Yeah, you bought it in a, in a bin, right? Yeah, the nice price. Yeah. <laughs> nice price on it. That's right. Well, I remember well, getting a lot of Steve Martin albums at the nice price. Right? Yeah, because he was, he was around when I was young, so I could enjoy his comedy. But when I was just old enough to be a person who'd listen to albums, he was long since retired from comedy and making... Uh, lovely movies, including one with a Miss Bernadette Peters. Oh, uh, circle. circle. Man, circle. I had such a crush on her in that movie. She's so adorable. She did I this. Cannot. Will you tell me which movie that is? The Jerk. The Jerk. Oh, of yeah. course, Jerk. I love that movie. It's brilliant and fantastic. And a lot of his stand-up is sort of in it. Yeah. Uh, do you think that's his best movie? I mean, it's hard to argue. L.A. Story is really good. Certainly the one I like to watch. L.A. Story is great. I enjoy The Man with Two Brains. Man with Two Brains is great. Yeah. I mean, I'm always, and I'm really enjoying uh, Only Murders in the Building. Yeah, great. Um, I did not, I was bummed, and I shouldn't have been bummed, but it's because I'm a big Peter Sellers fan. I didn't really like seeing a pink panther reboot yeah it, fe it felt like a mistake it also felt like if you're gonna do a reboot create a different character as a bumbling detective don't make it inspector clouseau right make it a make it pink panther style mysteries about a stolen gem and all that stuff <laughs> Given that the first one, you know, the first one, Peter Sellers wasn't the star of the first one. You know that, right? I don't know that. Yeah, that's a funny thing because the very first one, The Pink Panther, was supposed to be just this sort of heist, you know, sexy spy thing from the 60s, the sort of movies they made back then. Right. Peter Sellers was a, um ancillary character as Inspector Clouseau. But that's the thing people loved. Right. How neat is it? Because that, that happens on like TV shows where you're like, ah, oh, damn it. I guess people like Urkel. All right. Right. Or, ho, oh, the Fonz is here. But to do that in the movies, that's pretty impressive. Because, again, the Fonz was not the star of Happy Days in the beginning. Oh. And uh, there was a lot of leather jacket problems. Yes, that's right. The network gave them hell. And he could only wear his leather jacket if the motorcycle was in the shop. <laughs> yeah. So then they had a lot of parking lot scenes. Yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> and then they had, they did the other thing too, where he kept his motorcycle indoors. They did that too, which is hilarious. <laughs> ah, really great. Just a real F you. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh man, that's so great. Yeah, you know, it's funny because talk about levels of fame who's more famous than billy joel not very many people no oh. who's more beloved uh, maybe a few people are more beloved but the funny thing is about billy joel he has this weird fame where i think he probably meets a lot of people who instead of freaking out go hey it's billy joel and that's probably nice yeah i yeah. don't think there's a lot of people like oh my god i can't believe i'm near this little man 
<laughs> I think if they do, maybe he doesn't like that. Yeah, and I don't think they do. I think it's a lot of, especially now, but even back in the day, it's like, oh, you've been a nice part of my life. Yeah. I like your songs. And you know, uh, Henry Winkler's good about that. Yeah. The Fonz. I remember I tweeted some Fonz joke a long time ago, and he just replied to it. And he said, what? I didn't tag him or anything. I yeah. A joke about how he was always dating twins and triplets, but he only had a motorcycle, and how did he manage that? <laughs> but I just had a reply from Henry Winkler that said, he made it work with three exclamation points. <laughs> That's great. I had a similar thing. I had a joke about, um, uh, I made a Darth Vader joke and tagged Mark Hamill and he responded to something to it. Because the joke was, I said, um, Darth Vader was not Luke's father. Anybody can give, anybody can get a girl pregnant. It takes a real man to be a dad. <laughs> that's great. Uh, and he was very, yeah. He's he's another one of those guys who's like, oh, I really like that I'm famous. Yeah. It's fun for me. And it's oh, fun for them. Yeah. And the, and the dumb people who were like, yeah, he doesn't have any career. I'm like, eh, you don't want to watch cartoons. He's making plenty of money. You didn't see Corvette Summer. I fucking love Corvette Summer. Yeah. I had, For the longest time, I was like, God, someday I'm going to have a Corvette. And then as an adult, I'm like, those aren't very good cars. Never mind. Oh, yeah. I had a worse car than that. I had the knockoff, the Chevy Monza, <laughs> which is like the affordable. <laughs> Did you get it because of that? No, I got it because my dad bought it and gave it to me so he could drive it. Ah, OK. You know that old trick. <laughs> yeah. so if you live on army bases, you can buy used cars really cheap because guys will buy a fancy car not realizing that they're in the army and then they'll get sent to korea yeah oh fuck, i gotta sell this car for dirt cheap because i just need it out of my life oh yeah 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 oh, that's it would cost more than the car is worth to take it with me to korea <laughs> yeah and that's how alan alda lost his car yeah um so you probably recognize this lovely lady yeah smurfette that's right and uh it's a sweet lady <laughs> she is a sweet lady <laughs> but she's has, she has some prominent features i will yeah. say yeah yeah she's blue yeah she's blue it's about the blue it is oh what else is she beside blue uh, uh she's nice she is well, well, let's stay with colors. What else is she besides <laughs> blue? She's uh, blue and uh, white and well, yellow. Well, what color would you say her hair is? Blonde over blue. Blonde over blue. That's it. <laughs> oh, blonde over blue. Yeah. Fuck that song. It's not a good song. I don't think. Oh. I, I can't remember how it goes. Is that the one that mentions the Empire Diner? I think so, but it's also nobody prays anymore. <laughs> right. That's one of the things that asserts is that oh. nobody prays anymore. And, and, uh, and see, here's, I don't have a problem with telling is saying that nobody prays anymore, but I do have a problem asserting that that's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it never worked out for anybody really. Nobody, you know, fucking leeches anymore either, but that's because we realized it wasn't effective. Um, there's a great Garth Brooks song you might like called Unanswered Prayers. Oh, nice. I'd look into that. I will. And why don't I link to that for the folks at home? Because okay. that actually sounds like a good going out of this video one if I have a pen. And if not... I'll link to something else because I will not remember. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, you hate to use the notes app on your computer. Yeah, I'm an old man. I am an old man. Um, all right, so now the question. Oh, do you have trivia for me? Oh, buddy, do I have trivia for you? Um, it's only okay. Uh, <laughs> Billy Joel famously was a boxer for a little while. 
That's right. The hard version of the trivia question is, what was his record as a boxer? Oh. Slightly easier by saying he fought 24 fights. Ah, 0 and 24. (laughs) He looks like a guy who was 0 and 24, but actually had quite the winning record. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to say he was... Uh, two and tw- two is the the first one's the loss, right? Uh, first one is wins. Okay, twenty two and two. Yeah, he really twenty two of twenty four fights. Nice. That was a okay. You did good. And as I recall, he very much he said at one point something like those two losses were the ones that made him go, oh God, I gotta stop this. Well, the twenty fourth fight is when he got his nose shattered. Oh, okay. like, oh, this is no good. Yeah. I don't like this at all. Do you but, watch any of the Ultimate Fighting ever? No. I've watched, like, highlights and stuff, but no. Yeah, me too, watching the highlights. My lord. It's just... Uh, sometimes, there, sometimes the fight will be over in the first four seconds... And you still don't know who's the better fighter because you're like, well, none of you are wearing gloves and stuff just happens. Right. Yeah. It was like a car accident. Yeah. Like a guy will come out of the, out of, out of his side, fly across the ring, turn around and flap his elbow and the elbow will catch the guy on the head. And then the fight's over and man, you're a good fighter. You hit him with your elbow. God. It's a little bit like a battle bots. (laughs) <laughs> yeah oh the uh, well the blade fell off so that's that, right that robot's gonna sit in the corner for four minutes the only difference is that without battle bots the participants are a little more sympathetic <laughs> yeah because yeah, they didn't ask for this <laughs> i i was paying attention back in the day i got caught up in it when ronda, ronda rousey was fighting sure I found her to be an interesting fighter because she's pretty dynamic. She definitely had a like Muhammad Ali quality to her as far as her presentation and everything. But what was really jarring to me and the reason I was like, oh, I can't follow the sport because and but God bless you if you do. I'm not criticizing. It's just for me. I can't I don't have the stomach for it because I was like, wow, one or two losses and your career is kind of over. Because you've gotten your skull fucked with so brutally. Whereas at least with boxing, you're wearing the nicer pads. You have a chance in hell. Yeah. Of remembering. Yeah. Um, and her move to just be in movies and stuff, that was the right move. Yep. I don't know if she's good at it. I don't. Maybe she is. I don't think she was expected to be. Yeah. Sure she made a little cash. She's doing... Um, I hope she's happy. Yeah, she's very pretty. Lovely lady. Yeah. Good for her. I would date her. We should tweet about her and see if she answers us. Yeah, I would date her. If she's a good celebrity. I would love to date her. Because I I feel like she'd take care of me. Oh, yeah, she'd push you around. You like that. Oh, my God. (laughs) She'd get me in shape. I I don't mean physically. I mean that she'd just make sure I minded my P's and Q's. yeah, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah you would take the trash out yep 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 I was, yeah yeah there's there would be no second questions it would always be yep i'm doing the thing you just said yep yep that's it <laughs> it's an efficient way to run a household <laughs> you're cooking dinner tonight right jim yep yep already started already started <laughs> yep picking your favorite again I, I remember you don't like shallots i don't want to have that conversation again <laughs> conversation <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to have that beating again <laughs> Oh, uh, I think I need a Cold Spring Harbor break. Fair. I'm going to move into modern times with this a more nuanced version of the same sad sack. Uh, a matter of trust. A matter of trust. That's a good song. And we already can say it's different because that's a good song. <laughs> yeah. Why am I having trouble with a pen? Oh, well, a matter of trust. I'm sure I'll remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no no i have a yeah, pen over yeah. here i have a pen right here a matter of trust that's good and that'll be episode 64 before my goodness 
Um, if you were a single dude, would uh -huh. you would you date around Ronda Rousey? I don't know. That seems like a lot. Height wise, you'd be better than me. At least you could look her in the eye. Here's the non-starter for me. I think is I bet she gets up really early. Oh, that's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. and she's probably not cool if you sleep in. Well, then I'm getting up early too. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the difference between us. <laughs> Oh, I, a girl I went out with one time was a real, real hippie chick. And uh, I'm not into that kind of stuff, but I was while we dated. <laughs> <laughs> You're a simp. Yeah, yeah, I'm a sucker. Yeah, it was definitely like, oh, a nature walk. Oh, yeah, yeah, we should eat these roots. Like, that's a thing that really happened. We went through some nature <laughs> thing. It's just like, oh, you can eat this stuff. And I'm like, you know, what I would normally say is, sure, you can eat a lot of stuff. Sure, sure. You don't have to eat all the things. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can eat, and there's even more things you shouldn't eat, including yeah. some of the things you can eat. But instead, I went, oh, yeah, that's great. Ew. Wild. Ooh, what are we eating? Garbage? Mm. <laughs> oh, uh, things yeah. you do. Yeah. That's yeah, good. yeah. Well, it was good that we have both moved on. I'm sure she is still the hippie chick. I'm sure of it. Yeah. That's hard to pull out of that dive. Yeah, and she maybe is, isn't even necessarily wrong. That's fine. Yes. Aw. Um, well, I bet it's a long message. Let's see. It'd be funny if it was very short and cut off. Nope, it's a good long one. Lots of emojis. Oh, that is the thing old people do. They either don't get emojis or they don't get them, but they use a lot of them. They use a lot of them. Um, I'll just read one sentence. Do, 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 do. Being alone is a real bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. That is a valid observation. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. Being I alone. Yeah, that's a perfect out. Alone is a real bitch. Bruno Mars, if you need a new song title. 